I just finished baking that pizza right over here. And whenever the pizza is done, whatever comes in my mind is the first time I did a pizza was a few years ago when Frank Sinatra came to the restaurant. I was very excited. I thought he would order something from the menu that I prepared. And all he asked me that night is to do a pizza. So very quickly, I had to come up with a recipe. So that's still part of it. So I just have my chopping blade ready in the working bowl. And now I'm preparing the yeast. I have some lukewarm water in my container here. I'm adding the yeast and I'm adding the sugar. Then I will just stir it very lightly just to dissolve the yeast. And then of course, I set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes until the yeast foams. That means I know the yeast is alive. And over here, I have one who has been already foaming. That means the yeast is alive, ready to go. So I'm adding the flour to the work bowl. There we go. And I put the salt in it. And gonna process that for like 45 seconds by pouring in the yeast in the same time. So I have my yeast ready here. And let me turn it on. Just a tiny little touch. Here we go. The dough comes together. So now, once I have that, I'm gonna take the dough out, put a little bit of flour, and let me take the dough out. Here we go. And here we go. I'm gonna knead the dough a little bit just to make it come together in a bowl before I'm rolling it out. Okay, once the dough is ready, ready to roll out. So, now we go. Always be fairly generous with the flour. It just makes your life a little bit easier, kind of building a circle. And of course, the dough might shrink a little bit since it just hasn't been processed, but I will let it rest a little bit on the pan. All right, I have my dough ready, so what I really like to do also is always adding a little bit of cornmeal uh, on my dough. So I put that on the board and make sure that the cornmeal really sticks into the dough. And then I put a little bit of flour on top and I will bring that dough now to the pie pan, here we go. Let me bring the pan in here. So we're opening it up. And with those little holes, see the cornmeal actually sticks on the dough. Perfect, so we have our pizza right here. All right, so now let's put the topping on. So I have some tomato sauce right here. And I'm just gonna smear it. I think we're gonna use everything. It's gonna be a very generous pizza. All right. Here we go. All right, once I have that, now I'm putting some onions on. Sprinkle some onions. And that starts on looking really good. And then after that, a nice generous layer of uh, cheese and of course, uh, grating the cheese and cutting the onions and cutting the peppers, all these ingredients, of course, you can use actually a food processor so to make your life a little bit easier. And once I have all that, we can sprinkle some parsley on it. Here we go. And I have some uh, tomatoes that I've quartered and put the tomatoes on top. So you can really play. It's really up to you what you want to do. There's no real restriction. There's not one particular law where we can do. Just a little bit of pepper. And then I'm covering up with a nice layer of cheese. So it's really nice and cheesy. 
And then the last little touch, always a little bit salt, in particular at the outside of the crust. So when you're biting into it, you get that excitement. So that pizza is ready. It bakes in the oven at about 425 degrees for 20 minutes. And that's the final product. And I must say, I think the first time I did my pizza, it certainly didn't come out that way. I'm very happy now today because I did so many since. Great pizza.